This is GT55 V4 Gyro. It is one of, if not the best gyro for 128th to 124th rear wheel drive drift car. The steering curve and response are perfect for using with direct steering system cars like Drift Art and MA Racing. To be honest, it is a little bit too good and I personally refrain from using it while tuning the car because I might miss something. Like the wheel angle from the relation between the caster and the camber is not well tuned. This gyro can correct that with the stabilization. It just smoothed everything out and I couldn't feel what's wrong with the car. And here is a receiver with gyro integrated from Radiolink. On the surface, it is good for a small car because you don't need another extra component in a car with a very limited space. But I don't recommend this because usually the integrated gyro is not good enough for rear wheel drive drifting. So imagine how good would that be if we can have a receiver with this V4 gyro integrated. Welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. And this is the GT55 gyro receiver V4. At the time of this recording, the V5 has already come out. But don't worry, all the setup is still the same, so you can follow this video even if you have the V5. This nano gyro receiver is available for Flysky Noble, which is what I have, Futaba with TFHSS protocol, and finally Sanwa with FH4 and FH5 protocol. Basically, they cover all the popular brands with high-end protocols. You can just get the barebone receiver board only version. However, the aluminum case version looks nicer and it is easier to mount on the chassis because it has a flat surface. But it comes separately between the board and the case like this. To put the board in the case, first, you'll need to insulate the board with the included foam padding. You can leave the ship's export for better heat transfer to the case. And don't forget to pat the top as well. Finally, put the screw in, and it is done. And here are the channels you need. The ESC plugs into the bottom left. The servo into the upper right. On the V5, the servo plugs into the port with the label gyro, and the ESC plugs into the channel 2. The gyro gain is controlled via channel 3 on the transmitter, so make sure to set that to VR, variable rate, or a knob. And the bottom right, or the last one, is the channel 4. Here's how to bind the receiver and set up the gyro. Again, I have the V4 here, but it is still the same method on V5. To bind the receiver, choose the classic RX on the Noble or the appropriate mode if you use other transmitters, for example, FH4 for Sanwa, or T-FHSS for Futaba. Hold the lower button, the one deep inside the receiver, and turn the car on. And you'll see the light blinking rapidly. Then, put the transmitter in bind mode, and wait for the light to stop blinking. Next is the setup on the transmitter. On some cars, you might need to reverse the servo direction to make it turn the right way. Do it now. Next, set the endpoint or EPA for both left and right turn. Adjust it until the steering reaches the full range only when you completely turn the wheel and not before.
we do this because first, so we can use all the wheel movement on the transmitter to control the whole steering range. And second, so we don't break the steering mechanism. Don't worry if left and right EPA are not equal. Once that's done, we are going to set the EPA on the gyro. By the way, setting the gyro direction is the same as setting the EPA for this gyro. To do that, turn the car off. Hold the upper button, the one you can clearly see right here, and turn the car on. Hold the button until you see the flashing light on the gyro side, and keep holding it until the light goes out. The manual tells you to wait until you see the light flashes slowly. Don't do that, it'll go off the setup mode very quickly. Just let go of the button as soon as you see the light stops blinking rapidly. Now it is in the setup mode. Turn left first and hold it until it goes to the center by itself. Now turn right and hold. Once it goes to the center again, let go of the steering. And it is done. Basically, this gyro registers the left turn first, and then set the direction according to that. So it is the same setup for both endpoint and direction. That's why I told you to set up the transmitter EPA and the steering reverse before doing this. The gyro gain is on the channel 3 as mentioned earlier. And here's a special feature on this gyro. There are two modes. Slow return and fast return. When the channel 3 is at the midpoint or zero, the gyro gain is off. Turn it to one side and you'll have the slow return. It depends on your transmitter. For FlySky, it is the positive side. Turn again to the opposite side, which is the negative on FlySky, and it'll be in the fast return mode. Personally, I like the fast return more, but if you want a smooth transition, the slow return is very good for that. And that's it for this video. I hope it is helpful. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.